Living in Bend, Oregon is an amazing retreat. Uh, it doesn't even feel like the real world. I moved here four years ago and I relocated. Um, and I had a ton of questions. I didn't know what it was like to live here in Bend. I didn't know what the people were like, what the community were like. Um, so in this video, I'm talking all about my experiences over the last four years, um, what I like, what I don't. Um, so if you're thinking about moving or relocating to this area, you're gonna wanna stay tuned because I'm hopefully gonna provide a lot of value for you guys. So let's jump right in. Real quickly, my name is Brett Williams. I'm a realtor with the Real Agent Now Group serving the entire Central Oregon market. Um, I help people move and relocate to this area a ton. Um, I get phone phone calls, texts, emails, literally every day for people looking to move from all over the country. So if you've had any thoughts, reach out to me. Here's my contact info right there. Um, and make sure to subscribe to this channel. I'm posting videos one to two times a week um, and a bunch of new content's coming out. So without further ado, let's roll out. So it's currently early October at the time of this video and I'm standing in front of Pine Nursery Park. You can see a bunch of kiddos playing soccer in the back. Um, they're out and about having fun. It's a beautiful evening and I just want to take the time to talk about my experiences of living in Bend, Oregon. Um, personally, I've lived here for four years now. Um, I've learned a lot of things about the area, the different communities, um, especially what I like and what I don't like. Um, so for, for this video, I just want to be as transparent as possible. And if you're thinking about moving to this area, this is really going to be for you guys, just so you can get a sense of um, truly what it's like to live here and uh, how it differs from just visiting and, and living in a, a place like Bend. Um, so the first thing I absolutely love about Bend, and this is something that you'll probably hear a lot, um, is just the access towards the outdoor recreation and the parks. So you can literally see, you can take a pan around um, and just see there's people playing tennis over there. Um, you've got sand, beach volley, uh, volleyball courts over there. Right behind the cameraman right now, Adam, is an awesome fishing con for um, young kids to catch stock trout. So you can just see, I mean, just in a matter of 10 minutes from my house, I'm at an amazing park. Um, it's a great fall evening and then people are outdoors all the time. I mean, with that, whether it's mountain biking, snowboarding, um, biking in general, running, we have it all here in Bend. I mean, that's something that really drew me into the area right away, was just that outdoor active lifestyle that it provides. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of just being inside all day, so this really fit my personal lifestyle. If, you're, if you find to be someone that is just really outdoor oriented, you like being out in parks, taking walks, um, just really enjoying the outside, this is gonna be an amazing spot for you. Um, but something that I don't love about Bend, in contrast to the, to the uh, outdoorness, is the long winters. Sometimes the winters do get long, and I've talked about this in other videos, um, but February and March do get cold, and that's something that if, if you're really into warm weather all year round and you don't like snow um, or cold mornings or evenings, Bend might not be the spot for you. I know personally I love November, December, um, January, but then it gets into February and March and it gets cold. So just keep that in mind if you are um, a big warm weather person. Obviously, Bend has a lot of outdoor advantages, uh, but I really want to break down into what it's like day to day here. So when you're not out and about doing activities or stuff like that, what is the actual lifestyle and reality of living in Bend? Um, so I moved from Portland, Oregon. For those of you that know Portland, it's similar to Seattle. Um, it's a big metro area. You've got all the big block stores. You've got stuff super close to you, pretty much wherever you live, um, whether it's in Portland or the metro areas and all of that. Um, so moving to Bend, it, I thought it was going to be a lot smaller than it feels. Honestly, Bend has it all throughout the entire city. Um, we've got all the big block uh, stores on the south side. We've got Costco, Whole Foods, Safeway, you name it, we've got it over there. On the north side, we've got Best Buy, Home Depot, um, we've got Trader Joe's, and then we also have a mix of local grocery stores and really cool um, different high-end luxury stuff like that, all spread throughout the town. So it doesn't feel like you're in a small town and you you're only have one or two grocery stores. You truly have a lot of different options, which I think makes Ben super special. So another aspect of living here is the people. And this is something I get asked about a lot. Is it only old people? Is it super just kind of hippie-ish and there's just a bunch of young people that are snowboard and ski rats or what it's like? Um, and truthfully living here, it's really a blend of everyone. And I, and I just talked to another gentleman here. Um, he has uh, three grandkids that are, are basically one, two, and three years old. Um, so he lives here, his son who's mid-age lives here, um, and they're also starting a family. So Bend is great for all different age types. Um, literally behind me, 
There's a bunch of kiddos just playing soccer. Um, personally, I know a lot of kids that play football in the area. Uh, tennis and golf are really popular because we have a lot of that in this area. Um, so really, depending on your age range, it doesn't matter. I mean, there's, there's a bit of everyone. Different communities have different age ranges. Uh, but it really isn't hard to find your group or your friend group in this area just because uh, a lot of them people looking for a lot of different things from Bend live here. So it's a, just a really cool paradise and um, kind of a blend of everyone. So another thing I want to talk about is kind of like the entertainment aspect and what to do. Uh, and Bend is really special because it's such a kind of a compact city. It's not like a larger metro area where you have the main city and then you also have all these metro areas spread out. In Bend, you have kind of the Old Mill District and you also have Downtown Bend. And those are the two major hubs. Um, and they're kind of the center of Bend. And then outside of that, you kind of have different communities and neighborhoods, um, but there's not a bunch of branching cities and different areas to look at. There really are just kind of um, four sections and then everyone kind of just finds a home to live in in those four sections. But what makes that cool is there's really good entertainment in the city. Um, great food, great drink. There's a huge beer culture here. Uh, and, and it just seems like it keeps expanding. I know me and Adam, the cameraman behind, we're talking recently, um, it feels like there's five or six new food truck locations in the city of Bend um, that have popped up in the last like two years. So it's really crazy to kind of just see the expansion that Bend's seeing, um, but it's awesome because you have a lot of shopping opportunities. Um, it's really fun to go downtown the Old Mill District and just enjoy that kind of shopping center uh, feel. You can go to like a bunch of different retailers down there, buy some new clothes, whatever you need. Um, but there's also great restaurants. Recently, I think three or four of my, my recent favorites have opened up just in the last like three years. Um, yeah, so we, we have it all in Bend. There's no shortage of things to do. Entertainment is amazing. Um, and the food and drink, as you guys have probably read from other sources, is spot on, can't miss out. Um, so it's it's another one of those things where it doesn't feel too small and, it, and overall it just has a great vibe. With that, we're just gonna kind of wrap up this video. I really hope you got a lot of information from this. Um, if you have any thoughts about moving, please feel free to just contact me here. All my info is right there. Call, text, email, does not matter. Um, and, and just make sure to subscribe and like this video. That helps me out a ton and you'll get recommended uh, every time I post new videos on this channel. So with that, I hope you guys have a, a great day and I'll catch you in the next video.